Hello, ladies and gents, and welcome back to Slide 2, Game of Thieves. Ah. Uh, last time we, uh, <laughs> had a fight with Clockla, and now, who has, uh, stolen Murray and Bentley in the safe house? Ah, <laughs> uh, and now we are chasing. Chasing... The Eva Clockla to go rescue our friends. And if my eye will stop itching. Help! Stop. Anyone! SOS! Uh, Bentley, I'm on my way. Calm down. You freak out, it's just gonna make her have more fun. Everybody knows that rule. Ouch! Ow! Oh shit. Falling! Falling! And, well, I'm falling. Yeah, I kind of expected that. Ugh, why is my eyes so itchy? Alright, let's try this again. I'm scared, Sly! Hurry! Trying! I mean, everything's in pieces. This is what we get for blowing up a shit ton of things. And making the owl crash into, like, the middle. Ugh, poor Bentley. Just got puked on. <laughs> Alright. This, this is the thing I hate the most right here. Hurry, Sly! We're going down really fast! There we go. I always have trouble with this thing. Because sometimes if you land below it, you won't have really much... Uh... Maneuverability. We're trying, Murray. We're trying. Come here. I'll take it. I'll take it. I'm hyperventilating. I need a paper bag. Um. Didn't, that's the safe house, Bentley. Didn't we have like money on there? In there? have a new body, Neela, but you're still the low-down, backstabbing coward we've beaten time and time again. This won't be any different. Be brave while you can, Cooper. I might not have immortality upon a pure hate, but I feel some, some power growing within me. Yeah, that's called hate. Alright, the eye hurts. Smack it enough time to make it go away, like a good owl. And you go over here and get the other eye. Go away. We... we did it. It's an emotional moment. Die, Zek, die! My hate will smash you! Watch out! That thing's still kicking. And we have a dance floor again. Bakla mentioned something about a hate chip. It sounded like the source of her power. If we remove it, she might stop attacking. Then let's do a little open head surgery! I'll pry open that beak so that Bentley can go to town with his bomb. Yep, there's our dance floor again. But I don't think we'll be doing much dancing. Cause we got a bird to kill to finally put to rest permanently. It works like that, sweetheart. And you can kind of see the personality merge. Oops. Uh, 
to where uh, Clockwork is actually retaking control, even if she doesn't realize it. Let's get out of here. She's about to explode. Told you. My glasses. What? Bentley, I'll save you. Pick me up. I can't walk. Come on, Sly, let's get out of here! Bye-bye! And there we were, at the end of the road. The claw gang had been defeated, and the clockwork parts lay scattered around in heaps. Yet, despite the explosion, they remained pristine. It was as if nothing could ever hurt them. Carmelita cursed herself for showing up too late to get a few shots in on clockwork. So she took it out on what was close at hand. The hate chip. And just like that, it was over. Without that core piece, that essential center of clockwork, there was nothing left. The parts aged before our eyes as if time had finally caught up with the ancient bird. How ironic that Carmelita, a police officer, would be the one to lift the curse from the Cooper family. The menace of clockwork would never again rise to threaten me or my children. True to her nature, she informed us that we were all under arrest. But one look at my gang told me that we were in no shape for a fast getaway. So I offered to go peacefully in exchange for letting my friends walk. They'd taken some bruises through all of this, but I was surprised, shocked really, to see them leave their gear behind as they walked away. Their wounds were deeper than I'd imagined. Those guys were hurting. Carmelita's old police unit soon arrived. With me in custody, her name was cleared, and she even got a well-deserved promotion. It was the least I could do. The ride to HQ started with us sitting in silence, trying to read each other's thoughts. As the reality of my capture started to sink in, she began to relax, and we got to talking. We spoke freely about our previous adventures, comparing notes and even getting in a few laughs. Then we started talking about, well, everything. Books, music, art. It was like we were on a first date. She even showed me the bottle she'd been saving for the special occasion of my arrest. My heart sank when she realized that our short flight across town had already taken two hours, a fact I kind of clued into after seeing the Eiffel Tower float by 17 times. She went forward to ask the pilot what was up, and it looked like my pals had left me a little going away present before taking off. Floating away on the night breeze, I could faintly make out Carmelita's voice. I'll find you, Cooper! <laughs> I'll be seeing you soon, Green Tail. <laughs> and that's it. With a first date and a running away with the champagne, which I'm pretty sure he won't drink until he gets her on his side. Or until they run into each other again. But, eh, that's a slide two in its entirety. So, I hope you enjoyed my stuttering rambles and all that. I'm still not overly sure what to do during the credits, but it'd be rude not to show them off. Showing all the people who worked hard on this. And that was short. No. I forgot about this. gives it back to her. <laughs> That's one thing to come home to. <laughs> and 
thus the bottle remains unopened. Inspector Carmelita Fox continues to search for Sly Cooper, whose current whereabouts are still unknown. Guess I'll be playing uh, voice actor here. Dimitri went to on to work as a dance instructor on a cruise ship. I'm gonna be stuttering through some of these, aren't I? Rajan now owns a series of rug outlets across North America. Well, I wonder how he got out of jail. The Contessa went on to become the most successful real estate broker in the greater. I didn't finish that. <laughs> That's still. John Bassan went to work for the EPA. And ended up frozen again, again on a rescue mission to save baby penguins. Rehabilitated, I guess. Uh, hmm. Went from destroying the environment to saving it. Although, apparently, he's still. <laughs> yeah, end up frozen. Okay, that's it. <laughs> You've seen everything. You won. Go outside. <laughs> <laughs> I forgot they, <laughs> they did that. <laughs> Alright. <laughs> okay, that's that's truly it, other than a like a bonus episode where I show off where all the treasures are. And I mean the actual treasures you can get. And I'll show off the one cartoon that's uh that can be found in Dimitri's episode. Uh, and that'll be that'll be the bonus so thank you for watching i hope you enjoyed this video and until next time my beloved audience i bid you adieu